all of these authoritarian evil things and they voted for it. I'm going to tell you the truth about the 2022 midterm election results that no one else will. That truth is Democrat voters are stupid. Democrats leaned on preserving our democracy and January 6th, which is the same thing, because in their crazy deranged minds there was an insurrection that didn't actually happen, and that somehow democracy is threatened by Republicans existing, and abortion. Roe vs. Wade being overturned became a big deal to Democrat voters. What these Democrat voters seem to have forgotten is that we just spent the past two or three years being abused by Democrats. Your children that you don't have aborted, what happened to them? You were vaccinated, you were masked, you were locked up in your home, you were disallowed from going out, you were arrested if you went out and you didn't comply with draconian police orders, you were forced to shut down your businesses, you were forced to lose your jobs or work remotely if you could, you were forced to not be able to collect rent if you're a landlord who probably has a mortgage to pay for your property, and if you're a tenant, you didn't have to pay rent until you did, ensuring that you got kicked out as soon as the illegal CDC rent moratorium was lifted. These people ruined the economy. Your gas prices have peaked. You have seen $5 a gallon gas for, I believe, the first time ever in the United States of America underneath this administration and the people that support it. You have seen lockdowns abolishing freedom on a scale that was never thought possible in the United States. You have seen abuses of power. You have seen the FBI weaponized against political opposition on a level that was never even thought of before. You have seen all of this harm come from the government. And what did you vote for? Oh, I want to be able to abort. And I have this vague fear that Republicans might prevent me from voting. Voter ID laws do not stop people from voting that are legal citizens that have an ID. Guess what? You know that beer that you want to buy? You have an ID for it. You know that job you want to have? Well, you're not employed without an ID anymore because there are federal acts that require collection of identifying information to ensure that employees are not illegal aliens. So you have an ID. There are very few people in the country that can get by without having at least a photo identification card issued from the DMV. Mail-in voting was supposed to only be something that was there for the pandemic. It wasn't something that was supposed to stick around. Yet here it is. It's stuck around. Oh, mail-in voting is safe and effective. Mail-in voting will stick around forever because guess what? Mail-in voting doesn't have a chain of custody. It just shows up at the ballot box. Video has surfaced of people shoving ballots, tons of ballots, into a ballot box. This one ballot box that was monitored. Tons of people would come up and cram handfuls, I'm talking handfuls, of ballots into one box. Ballot harvesting should be illegal everywhere. And in the places that it's not illegal, there are still restrictions on it. Some of these people that were caught on video stuffing ballot boxes were very clearly just by quantity alone engaging in illegal ballot harvesting. Do you think something will be done about that? Hell no, because it benefits the people in power. There were lawsuits that were filed to make sure that votes sent in by mail-in ballot that didn't have a date on them would still be counted and considered valid. We've gone from election day to election week. We've been told that we won't be able to know the results of the election for perhaps weeks after election day. We really should have an election day where if your vote is not received by 7 p.m. on election day, then your vote doesn't count. Not postmarked. Received. They seriously voted for the same people who abused them, put them out of a job, gave them a bunch of free money that they're paying back in the form of massive inflation now, spiked their gas prices through the roof, ruined their child's schooling during their formative years, forced them to stay home, forced them to not do recreational activities outside when otherwise they weren't allowed to even work. All of these authoritarian, 
evil things and they voted for it. Why? Because abortion. So you get to kill the kid that you don't want. And I'm pro-abortion. I'm totally fine with you killing your unborn child if that's really what you want to do. Your body, your choice. But my body, my choice too. And that's the problem is that my body, my choice apparently doesn't matter because what you've done is vote for your fetus, your choice, your uterus, your choice. But my arm that I don't want a vaccine stuck in, not my choice apparently. I don't want to wear a mask, not my choice. I don't want to be forced to stay at my house. I don't want to be forced out of a job by the government telling my job that I'm not allowed to work. Hey, not my choice. The only choice that matters is killing an unborn fetus while all other bodily autonomy lost in this election. And that's the ultimate problem. These people are stupid. These people are on Twitter shrieking about how this is a vote for bodily autonomy. We have saved women's rights to their own body. But then, when it comes to general bodily autonomy, oh hell nah, that's, that's a right-wing Republican lunatic thing. Only a nut job would want bodily autonomy. No, you can't have that. You're, if we say that you stay home, you stay home, bigot. If we say you can't work, you can't pay your bills, you pay double for gas, you pay double for groceries, then that's not your choice, bigot. You don't get to have a say in that. But if you've got an unborn fetus, that, that's okay. You can kill that off. This is the way Democrat voters have voted. They voted for John Fetterman. John Fetterman, a person who had a stroke two weeks before the election. I think it was two weeks. John Fetterman, a person who clearly got on television and could not properly form coherent sentences. Someone who is quite literally brain damaged. Oh yeah, by the way, in Pennsylvania, a Democrat got reelected. 85% of votes for that Democrat. The problem was, the Democrat died a month ago. A dead man got 85% of the vote in Pennsylvania. He's dead. What does that tell you about the voters? What does that tell you about their education level? Not their education level as in what technical degree they have, but their education level as in how much they actually know about this voting stuff. The guy died and they voted for him anyway. Probably because he didn't have an R or L beside his name. Democrats are stupid. That is the takeaway. If Democrats weren't stupid, they wouldn't have voted Democrat. And I am a libertarian, small L, although technically registered big L. I don't really favor one party or another. What I favor is not getting pounded in the ass by the government. And the problem is that that's exactly what's been happening. It's been happening for years. I voted against being pounded in the ass by the government. And what did I get? I got a bunch of morons who don't know anything voting against my position because they don't care. Apparently, the receipt they got out of the gas pump that said that their fill-up is $50 instead of $25 like it was a couple years ago. Yeah, that fill-up, that, that's totally fine. Oh, your grocery bill? That went up from $200 for the month to $400 for the month? Or $250 to $500? Yeah, that, that's okay. That's totally fine. We'll vote for that. We'll vote for these things that directly impact us negatively. Oh, the Strategic Petroleum Reserve has been almost depleted. Diesel's up past $5. And that goes down into the cost of everything else in the entire supply chain of the country. Yeah, that's totally fine. The guy in charge is a lunatic who can't seem to stop causing problems with Russia and Saudi Arabia, getting all other countries in the world laugh at us and not cooperate with us. Whereas, you know, his predecessor seemed to do a pretty good job of that, all things considered. No, that's fine. That's fine. Piss everybody else off. Make gas prices go through the roof. Make everything more expensive. Make it hard to pay your bills. Make housing prices so high that nobody has any housing mobility anymore. All that's fine, as long as you can kill a fetus and maybe feel good about January 6th. Way to go, dipshits. You're stupid. Do better in 2024. I'm Jody Bruce on Politics. Fucking off. Thanks. Have a great day.